Homes on wheels are expensive. The sales tax alone for a top recreational vehicle can set you back $30,000. There's a way out of this tax if you're willing to break the law in Massachusetts. But now state investigators are exposing these RV owners for scamming money from the state. Montana is big sky country, mountains and wide open spaces. But Massachusetts officials say it's more than a home for buffalo and cowboys. They say it's also a tax haven for Bay State tax cheats like this man. Hi, Mr. Pickett. I'm Mike Bodat with Fox 25 News. Want to talk to you about your RV? Trying to find out why you registered it in Montana when you're living here in Mass? I have no idea. As it's registered in Massachusetts. I have no idea what you're talking about. Actually, recreational vehicle owner Charles Pickett knows exactly what we're talking about. Up until last week, his RV was registered in Montana. Pickett set up what's called a limited liability corporation in Montana in 2006 and used it to register the RV sitting in his Rehoboth driveway. Had he registered his RV in Massachusetts as required by law, he would have paid more than $9,700 in sales tax plus an annual excise tax. Until he was caught, Pickett was saving all that money because Montana has no sales tax or excise tax. You didn't have the vehicle registered in Montana? Did you see it? Was it registered in Montana? Because the state says it was. It's registered in Massachusetts. Always has been? I have no idea who you're up to. That's hard to believe because he registered his RV in Massachusetts just a week ago on March 17th. He's not the only Massachusetts resident who has registered an RV in Montana. There's Hilton Jenkins and her husband in Mattapan, who avoided more than $11,000 in taxes. We want to talk to you about your RV. Oh, about my, oh I'm not going to talk to you about that. My husband's not here. We wanted to find out why you registered it in Montana when you live here in Mass. My husband is not here. It's the same story in Bridgewater. The state of Massachusetts says you didn't pay taxes on the RV. I did. Why'd you register in Montana if it's here in Massachusetts? No comment. Were you trying to cheat the state out of tax money? No. I was just trying to save myself some money. James Pistorino didn't need to set foot in Montana to set up the James J. Pistorino Limited Liability Corporation and save himself nearly $12,000 in sales tax and thousands a year in excise taxes. Why did you register in Montana? Have you ever been to Montana? This is a tax fraud ripoff scheme. The victim the other taxpayers in Massachusetts. Gregory Sullivan is the Massachusetts Inspector General. He points out that these Montana registrations are illegal because vehicles driven in Massachusetts more than 30 days must be registered here. Sullivan also worries about these giant RVs being on the road without safety or emissions inspections, which are not required in Montana. We have a safety system in Massachusetts made for these kind of vehicles to make sure that they don't have rollovers, that they're not going to, uh, the brakes are good, they, there's a lot of weight, they could crash into other cars. And what's happening? They're not getting inspection stickers, safety inspection stickers, because it's a Montana plate. In a report released this week, Sullivan's investigators found 23 Massachusetts RV owners with Montana registrations. Sullivan says there are many more, but Montana's corporate secrecy laws make them almost impossible to find. The extent of this is much greater than that, much greater, because the information is blocked from our view. Montana won't give it up. It's despicable, frankly. The Montana tax scheme is no secret to Marty Hanood, who's been selling RVs for more than 30 years. Well, I think most of the uh, RV people are aware of the Montana uh, loophole, but we don't advise it because if you house it and live in Massachusetts, then you need to pay the Massachusetts sales tax. Hello, what a nice day, huh? He may not advise customers to set up a Montana company, but he'll sell to someone who does. We have sold some to corporations. And a full bath, tub, and shower. Well, we're looking at a 44-foot uh, uh, Beaver Patriot Thunder Edition. It's got 40-inch flat-screen TVs in it. I mean, it's a phenomenal coach. It's a touring coach. Given all the amenities, it's no surprise why these RVs can cost so much. Everybody's just trying to find a legal way to save some money and enjoy this lifestyle. While saving money by illegally registering an RV may benefit the owner, Inspector General Sullivan says it's at the expense of every other taxpayer. They're really not cheating the government. They're just cheating everybody else who's having to, who has to pay these taxes. 
So far, state officials say they've recouped about $200,000 in taxes, fines, and fees from the 23 owners identified by the Inspector General. They've all been told to register their RVs in Massachusetts if they haven't done so already. The IG also wants Montana to change its laws to make it easier for Massachusetts to find out who's buying these vehicles. No response from the Montana Secretary of State's office about that idea. If you have an idea for a Fox Undercover investigation, give us a call. 1-800-TV-FOX-25. I'm Mike Bodette for Fox Undercover.